What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people ask me about the culture. A lot of people say truth. It's a lot of blogs on the internet about legends and a lot of upcoming artists in Chicago that we don't know about. If you get an opportunity, can you put one of those people in front of that camera? Today, I was lucky enough, in my opinion. I think this is the interview uh, the coach are going to like. That for the people who don't know what's going on, because some people don't know what's going on if it ain't on the internet. You know what I'm talking about? But um, for the people who don't know what's going on, you'll let them know exactly what your name is and where you're from, bro. Yo, it's your boy 064D Will, repping Melly Way to the fullest. Exactly. Shit. I'm from over east, and I'm just keep it simple as that. Okay. But I was raised across Western, and I'm going to leave it at that. So, okay, right. So, you've been a few places in Chicago and shit yeah. like that. I notice a lot of people that come in front of my camera, they tend to name a neighborhood after somebody that passed away. You say you from a lot of neighborhoods, so you're not just really just stepping one hood. Nah, uh, I ain't really too much rep nothing. Right. Like, to, like, you feel me? Like, because I understand it's to a point where somebody else don't die, they going to try to rep that too. So right. you feel me? I try to keep it at a minimum, and that's and I rep Melly Way, and I, cause that's my brother, that's my blood brother. So I ain't changing that. I don't care. I ain't trying to say it in a bad way, but I don't. I ain't really tripping on who died. That was my blood brother. This not no friend. This not no best friend. This was my blood brother. This was family. Right. You know, and I think we gon' we gonna get to that. You know, because I think. That is uh, an important part of this because I think you got a dope story because a lot of people don't know that Melly has a brother that's very talented in his rap shit, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that's Appreciate very that. important. Um, how was it growing up in Chicago, though? And from your point of view? Uh, it was normal for me, like like everybody else talk about it. Like, you know what you know what's right and what's wrong. You know what to stay away from and what not to stay away from. You feel me? Right. People make their own choices. You feel me? A lot of people had choices to go a different way, but you feel me? people chose the opposite. So shit, it wasn't too much different from others. You feel me? I'm not gonna lie though, Will. You know when I look on the internet and I go to certain sites, I see a lot of aggressive shit going on out there. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not saying they don't go on everywhere, but. Do you kind of see the same things that I see when I look on the internet, or are you used to it because you out here with it? I mean, I'm used to it, and plus, people just want to be seen with it anyway, so they're going to post it on the internet. They ain't doing nothing but telling them they sell. Yeah, so they're going to do them. Right. Um, it's 2022 right now. We in February, two months that passed. Last year, I seen over 800 murders. Kind of had my head shocked when I seen that number. Is it safer now with the two months? Right now? Mm, two same. months, nothing. Mm, mm, I don't think it's safer. No, I don't think it's safer. No, mm. no that's, that's just the end of that. I don't think it's safe. <laughs> yep. mm. No, I hear a lot about Chicago. Do you think Chicago going to ever get safer? <sighs> I don't know. Because like, like, it's a thing where I've been seeing a lot of people trying to follow the trend. Uh, you feel me? Trying to you know, stop dissing, and, and at the end of the day, like, people gonna say what they gonna say, whether you dissing or not, because people know who you talking about, like, especially if you out here and this shit, like, people right. gonna know who you talking about, so it's not really, because people are like, they'll see somebody, like you say, somebody like Dirk say, I ain't saying no more dead niggas name in the song. Right. But at the end of the day, folks gonna have to come back and say something, like, Feel me? Like, that shit ain't gonna never end. And plus, it's too much bloodshed in this shit for a motherfucker to just be like, is Chicago gonna change? Like, it's just, you just gotta know, keep your family out of shit. Right. Don't put people in cars that they ain't supposed to be in. Don't oh, put your... hold up. That's deep. I think, I ain't heard that yet in front of this camera. Don't put people in cars. Yeah, don't hell in. yeah. That's why I don't let nobody get in the car with me, man. I don't, unless I know you with this. You can't get in the car with me. My mama can't even get in the car with me. Oh, my daddy yeah. can't even get in the car with me. Because I know what's going on. You feel right. me? My little brothers, my nephews can't get in the car with me. Oh, that's smart, though. You feel me? No. All right. Uh, especially, you just said something about, you know, when you brought up Dirk, man. 
do the family hear the songs by like Dirk? I yeah, think it's we we've been hearing it. Black. We've been we've been hearing it. Like people just not starting to hear it now because of my brother being gone or whatever. But you know what I'm saying. We've been hearing it, like my people who out here in this shit. We've been hearing it, like yeah. we've been hearing motherfuckers sending subliminals and shit. And I don't want to keep mentioning folks' name neither. Right? You feel me? But yeah, we've been hearing that shit. So it's, it was nothing new. It's that shit ain't nothing new. Exactly. And I don't want to stay on that, but I do want to ask you just maybe a couple more. And I don't want to stay on that too hard, but I do want to ask you. Y'all do see those internet videos and documentaries and things sure. like that about Manny. For sure. Because it's a lot of them. I seen, look, for him not to be a rapper, I seen the documentary that had over a million views on it. Yeah, I seen him when he do changed his voice up and everything, mention my pop's name and shit like that. Like, that shit was just, when I seen it, that shit, I just felt like that shit was just out of order. Like, uh. you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's a lot of other, you know what I'm saying? Like, bloggers and shit who try to gain fame off the my brother name like a bunch of them rappers did like you feel me as long as my brother died he wasn't hearing too many niggas mentioning my brother name like that you feel um, me that's how that's how deep this shit is that's how many motherfuckers you know what i'm saying dislike my brother but we ain't gonna too much talk about melody though all right yeah. i want to ask you something though you got a song out okay mm -hmm. it's a song called get them together okay Mm -hmm. It's a dope song too, but it kind of mentions people in it, okay? A lot of DMs when that song dropped, a lot of angry DMs and shit. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. They still in my they still in my requests that I just look at and just laugh. There's people that still come through and talk shit just because, but you know that'd be the little rope, the little IG bots and shit or whoever wanna take over a page and just talk shit because you didn't block them or some shit like that. You feel me? So that's little shit. Motherfuckers gonna do shit through the net. Right. However the way they gonna get it. And I asked you about them diss songs. And the reason I asked you about that diss song. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is because that song might get somebody to think that you like a typical diss rapper. Yeah. And you not, bro. When I went in your catalog, I seen shit like Help Me. I seen shit like Loyalty. Toxic Melody. Yeah, that's a that's an EP I just dropped on the fifth. Yeah, Running From The Worst. Mm-hmm. Man, I heard shit from you that I thought was like radio ready, bro. Like that shit, that didn't sound like a Chicago rapper. You know? Um, I appreciate that. But, he, but to answer your question on, the, on, that, on that song, like people get to a point where they just feel like, man, I'm tired of hearing it. I, I feel like I need to do one too. You feel right. me? That's what it came down with with me because I got a I got a lot of diss songs that I chose not to put out. You feel oh, so me? you got something you holding? I it ain't even that I'm holding. You feel me? It's just the fact that you know what I'm saying. Like it could be done, but I just choose not to do it. You feel me? And right. when I did made made get them together, it was just like I came to a breaking point. Like fuck that shit. You feel me? I ain't even mention everybody I wanted to mention. It was just something I dropped. You feel me? Something I did in the booth. That wasn't nothing major. It was just, let me try it too. You feel right. me? Type shit. But that ain't the lane that I'm aiming for, though. Right. Um, help me. Bro, that was dope, okay? Yeah, that was that was off uh, one of the NBA Youngboy beats. Nevada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that was, like, when I first heard Nevada, it was before it even hit all the streams. I looked up the instrumental, just went off that bitch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of videos too. You ain't been doing this that long, have you? No. You got a lot of videos though, bro. Yeah. You got a lot of songs and shit with like the little screenshot. You got a lot of work in this short period of time. I really didn't know a lot about you, but like things, I did know things about you from the internet. I ain't saying they was real things, but I did hear stories about you on Chiracology, Red Egg. And other sites that I think is dope in Chicago. I especially want to shout out Chiracology and Reddick. I think those sites are dope. For but sure. you know, they know a lot of stuff. I didn't know when I went to your music. I said that shit was dope. Um, I want to know, is this just like for the hood though? Or is this something real? This like a rap deals and trying to change the life mm -hmm. of this? You feel me? Like I got other shit going on that I got my hands in. But you feel me? Music is just for entertainment. You feel me? Like. 
If somebody get a hold to it and shit, they feel like I could put some shit, shit, I'll do that shit. But that's that's just something to do when it's nothing to do. Like, it's something that I just take and express my feelings on. You feel me? That's what I do with it. You know what? Can you give me an inside look at it, Will? Is, is it hard in this drill rap shit? Is it hard catching?